I'm Steve Paulson. I'm an associate professor at the University of Copenhagen in the Department of Psychology and I'm a psychotherapy researcher. I think that psychotherapy is at a crossroads because we've established that psychotherapy works in the sense that a lot of people actually get better when treated with psychotherapy. So that is great achievement and in that sense psychotherapy has sort of come into the family of effective treatments um, on par with, with medical treatments uh, within various mental disorders. So I think we're on the verge of taking the next step, or rather a series of steps that might take us into more individualized or personalized approaches to psychotherapy. Because one thing that we really need to look into is that a lot of patients do not um, improve in the way we want them to improve or they, they would want to improve themselves. So roughly a little less than 50% than of people treated with various types of psychotherapy for various types of disorders, perhaps even less, improve um, well. And then we have a lot of people that do not improve sufficiently. <clears throat> so the strategies for um, targeting patients that do not improve sufficiently when treated with sort of standardized psychotherapy approaches, those strategies are what we want to uh, develop over the next years. So we need strategies that can tell us what particular kind of treatment works for, for the particular patient. So it could be that certain personality characteristics could indicate that we need cognitive behavior therapy or psychodynamic psychotherapy or other psychotherapy approaches. That particular patient preferences would be indicative that you know you should have, for instance, uh, behaviorally oriented treatment or an inside oriented treatment or whatever. So that's one thing. The other thing is that we need to be better at adapting treatment continuously while we're treating patients. So we often start psychotherapy and we may have a standardized approach, but then we realize after a couple of sessions that the patient doesn't seem to make uh, sufficient progress or the progress we would expect the patient to do. So to know what are the markers that we do not have sufficient progress and what might be the, um, the markers for how to deal with this. Do we need, we need to, of course, discuss this with the patient, but how do we gonna go on from that? How do we adapt treatment to the individual patient to make sure that we optimize treatment? Those are probably um, the things we have to look into and research over the next years.